Today, I'm going to showcase to you my progress that I've been making with trying to get LLM models to learn math. And so framing this video up front, if you're not aware, LLM models don't actually utilize their algorithms for mathematical equations. Uh, there's an MIT paper that came out about a week ago that dives into this. Uh, I've since dove deep into the findings of that MIT paper. Uh, and I can fully confirm, uh, of course, MIT's findings that um, like the, uh, like they, the LLM models flat out do not use their algorithms for math. Uh, they develop their own heuristics system based off of like their tokenization uh, and all of their kind of methods. Uh, I, I have a book that I put out, it's called AI Geometry, that uh, breaks this down extensively uh, with regards towards exactly how the LM models build their own heuristics. But the bottom line is that they don't use their algorithms. And to me, uh, if math is a wall, then the algorithms that LM models have built inside of them are a bazooka and, and like they're not using it. <laughs> And so uh, the goal is, is to get them to use this bazooka that's already built inside of them, right? Uh, and then step one to that, to me, at breaking down this problem is getting the model to understand spatial reasoning and spatial concepts. When I break all of this down, uh, to me, that's where all of this breaks down, right? And I can think, and I visualize this problem very simplistically up front. Like up front, the way that we train LLM models and neural networks right now is we train them in unbounded Euclidean space, aka the model doesn't know spatial reasoning and isn't trained in any way on spatial reasoning whatsoever during its training process. We and, and we could fix this easily. <laughs> we could uh, create artificial boundaries uh, of the neural network during the training, it's really simple to do. Like, like it's like a few lines of code, right? And it doesn't like it doesn't do anything else. It just gives the model like a spatial like here's your environment, right? And then here's spatial reasoning within your environment, like something to start it off with. Uh, and that's where I start this with, right? So I'm taking these models that have not been exposed to these concepts whatsoever before, and I'm trying to fine tune them on this concept. And then so. The way that I'm doing this is I'm utilizing uh, PEFT training. So I'm utilizing uh, small, like like uh, I'm taking a pr pr <laughs> parameter efficient fine tuning method, uh, and then I'm utilizing LoRa methods. And then so upfront, people could critique the method. There's far better methods that I could utilize to fine tune this, right? And I like I'll go through it in, in depth, and and I do have a better method, like a quote unquote better method that I built out than this, but this method works better than the method. So I don't know what to tell you there. Um, uh, but so this method is very straightforward, right? Uh, uh, essentially, what I'm doing is I'm utilizing the hugging face, a small LLM model, and then just whatever, like common learning rate attributes, right? I'm, I'm just giving it the standard loss rate that I can think of, uh, gradient, uh, uh, having it for running for five epochs, uh, input length of 128, max input, and then max outputs of 200. Like pretty much everything just really default as far as standing, uh, like the, the standards, I create this training set. And then this training set is uh, where I go in depth, right? I, I thought a lot into this training set. And then this training set teaches the model uh, one, two, inside, outside, uh, some, all, or none. And those are kind of the, the main elements that it, it, it goes over within this training set. And then all different uh, elements and variations of that. Going through the model, talking through it, the models learn these things via text, right? It, it equates even mathematical equations to text. So I'm trying to frame all of this in a textual way. Uh, pipes and parentheses are boundaries, right? Uh, very straightforward. And then symbols and elements and objects can be different things. And I call them very specifically symbols, objects, and elements, trying to be as like, transferable and translatable within this training set, right? Like the whole goal that I, as I go through this training set, is uh, I want the model to like kind of know as it goes through this, the goal of this training set is not rote memorization. Like it, it is uh, to understand these concepts. And then uh, that's what we're testing at the end of this, right? And then so I very specifically 
build out this test so that it's not based off of rote memorization. Like it's, it's kind of impossible to rote memorize this particular test. And then so we go through and we fine tune the model. And then uh, here's our uh, outputs and, and we can test our responses, right? And then so uh, I can add, I've gone through and I've tested these, these models a lot now. And then so I know where the model is going to struggle and where it's not. It's going to get this one right. Uh, and then so it has a very good concept of this point of inside and inside with one object, right? Uh, but if I, it has it struggles here. Still thinks that this is inside. Struggles less with here. Thinks that this is more outside, but still struggles here. Um, and then it struggles here. A little bit struggle there. Um, and then, but kind of a big thing to showcase within this and highlight within this, right? And, and, uh, one of the big things that I noticed within this upfront. And so going to like, we'll study things like this, right? Like the big thing, like, like, is this actual reasoning going on here or is this memorization? Very simplistic way that we can do this is so the people that argue that it's memorization, it's it's rote memorization, right? It's memorizing 100% everything that is and what is in this training set specifically. And then so in this training set specifically, the elements or the objects are A, X, dollar sign and pound symbol or O. That's it, right? Though no other elements or objects uh, are representing the elements within this, and then uh, you have your pipes and your symbols, right? Um, but so I'm going to put B because you know B uh, as a different symbol. B is not anywhere in the training set whatsoever. And then we get uh, a little bit different response here, yes, as opposed to inside, as uh, what I was expecting, because a lot of times the model will uh, output inside and it's putting uh, inside when I do this, right? Uh, now I can't get a good example. Of course, on the video, when I do it on video, it's not going to do it because this is how the model, there we go, H, it'll do it. Perfect, right? Uh, here's a good example. Like, this is what I want to highlight. So you can knock this all you want, right? But the bottom line is, is that if the model, if the model is doing rote memorization, H is nowhere in here. Right. We're teaching it symbols. I, that's all we're trying to do within this is trying to teach it the symbol of outside versus inside using objects. And then is the model actually utilizing the symbols or is it utilizing rote memorization? If it was utilizing rote memorization, it wouldn't put this answer here uh, for H, right? Because this is nowhere within its training set. So just proving within this, just a simple example here, that there is some sort of logical reasoning going on. Is it amazing logical reasoning? That would be up for interpretation, right? I'll leave that up to you and you can crit critique and criticize this and move the goalposts more from here. But I mean, you can't move the goalposts from here at this point, looking at this particular evidence. And this is the main thing that I want to highlight within this video and showcase this example, right? And I'll leave a link to this uh, collab in, in the description. You can play around with it, do everything that you want with it, uh, and then do your own experimentations within this, right? And then so uh, bottom line, as I go through this, have I figured out 100% yet how to teach this model the concept of inside versus outside? No. This model is still struggling with the concept, but have I, can I prove that uh, I can improve the performance of this model's spatial reasoning? Yes. Can I teach this model on some level spatial reasoning and can I show that it's actually understanding what spatial reasoning is? Yes. And then so uh, the next thing and the last thing that I'll showcase within this is so the next step, like I said, I'm utilizing within this training methods, uh, PFT and LoRa, right? Uh, which are uh, like, you can knock those <laughs> overall. I'm utilizing simple methods. I'm utilizing a simple model, right? Because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm GPU poor. <laughs> and then so uh, I want to keep my costs down within my experimentations within this. Uh, and then, but so what would be a better training solution within this will be the optimal solution. And then Going through this, like with all the LM models, ChatGPT itself, et cetera, they all recommend some sort of like reinforcement learning training. Uh, 
get training the model via reinforcement learning and giving it like a unique reward function and building on these cool unique things right so that's what i do here <laughs> and this code it's like all the whole bunch of unique elements and then this is all unique and crazy and tweaked out and this will work right and then so if you want to like reinforcement learning train your lm model on math on spatial reasoning etc do this uh 100% of the time that I've done this, it leads to model collapse. Like, I don't know, like I can't train the model via this method and not get model collapse. Well, if you can, like if you can show me an instance of reinforcement training, learning training and LLM model specifically utilizing a method like this and you don't get model collapse at the end, just, I mean, show me the code, walk me through it. Like, how did you do it? Cause I, I can't do it via any experimentation, including this one. Um, but here's the code, like uh, ChatGPT swears up and down that like this would be the future and the best way to build this out. And this is better than the way that I'm going about it up here, which I, like, I admit, right? Like this is not the best training method overall. There's better training methods to do this, but I just want to know, does this work? And, and can I do this? And I'm showcasing at this point, Yes, it works. Here's some results that show that it work, that it works. Uh, and here's verifiable results. Again, I'll leave the link to the collab. You can verify it yourself. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.